Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie and this is Our Budget Life. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you'll consider clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are always notified of my new videos. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate your support. Now today I have my Erin Condren monthly planner. It's a 7x9 and this is what I'm using for my business finances. So I'm about to do my week one slash week two budget check-in for my business. So if you'd like to see how I'm doing so far, stay tuned. <music> Alright everyone, so as I said, I am getting ready to do my week one slash week two check-in on my business. Now, I have been keeping track of some expenses. I don't have all of them listed in here, but I do, so I do have to have add more. Wow, you think I know how to speak. I do have to add more here. So we'll go through that together. I did get a second pay from Etsy. So we'll go ahead and do that. Then on this monthly, I will add in some of the bills that have been paid. And we will make sure that we note that on the monthly. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with the expenses. So I had started listing them as I was spending. So um, first profession, pro professional services was Patreon. So that came out to 58 91 and that was taken out on the first materials. I did get some mailers from Uline and that was 168.44. Then I did get some cutting mats from Amazon for 2906. And then I had to make a huge purchase. I had to buy a new inkjet color printer. My current printer decided it was done. It had had it. It wasn't going to work anymore. So I had to get a new printer. And with that, I bought one extra um, color ink cartridge. So that was an expense I wasn't planning on spending this month. But I mean, my business is stickers. I need the color printing. So I had to go ahead and spend that. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see a bit better. All right, that should be a bit better. So we have that. And then let me just look. Um, we had, so on the 5th, so 0501. And this was, um, I'm going to consider it materials. But it was digital, so coffee doodles, and that was, um, I'm going to put art for my digital art, you know, clip art and papers and stuff. That came out to 45 14 then on the 6th, again, materials. I did get more clip art. This was from Glam Art Santa. Art. And this came out to, oh, I have to add that up because there were two expenses. Get my calculator. So I'm just gonna put them together. So 596 plus 5511. So that was 6107. And then that was that. Let me just look. I have my little book next to me that I keep track of all of my expenses. Then we had yesterday, I had to purchase more ink. Now I did get an HP printer. So I did sign up for the HP uh, instant ink program. However, because my printers new, I haven't quite received the first ink installment. So I'm a little bit behind and I ran out of ink. So I had to get more. So this again was an expense I wasn't planning on spending, but I will write materials. And this was at Staples and I got ink and the ink came out to 128. 80 and that was the last expense I had now this isn't really part of the first week but I wanted to add it in there 
All right, now let's look at income. So on Monday the 11th, so 11.01 from Etsy, I received a total of $310.72. So let's see what goes towards tax. So 310.72 times 20%. So that's sixty two fourteen. So I'm going to round that up to sixty three dollars. All right. So three ten seventy two times forty percent is one twenty four twenty eight. So I will round that up to one twenty five. So if I go three ten seventy two minus oh no three ten seventy two minus 63 minus 125 that means my pay for this week was 122.72 it's not bad however these uh this 40 percent here is not going to cover what i've already spent so i know that for sure so we'll have to see how we do. Now, thankfully, I did have money in my account, my business account from 2020 that I carried over into 2021. So I didn't have to dip into my personal money to pay for any of the expenses, especially the printer. Um, but yeah, so I feel like I should do a running log of where we are at in terms of income versus expenses. I might do that for the next month because right now I don't know how I would exactly add that all up. So let's first go here to the monthly budget. So Patreon, first of all, came in under budget at, where did I write that down? Came in at 58 92 so I saved a dollar eight all right then pip sticks uh I did write that down oh yes 26 12 so this is because of the conversion rate between U.S. and Canadian funds that's why these numbers fluctuate although they are fixed expenses the numbers can fluctuate Adobe came in at 15 oh four uh, Wix, Canva, and banking haven't been taken out. These haven't been taken out, although I did get ink already. But I'm not going to write it in because I don't know if I will need more before the end of the month. Until I get my first HP instant ink thing, I don't know if I will need more mailers. However, I will not need more mailers. So let's see, how much did I spend on mailers? Was 168.44. So I'm good with that. So 168.44. So that means 200 minus 168.44. That leaves me under budget by 31.56. So that's pretty good. Now here I will want to add equipment because I did buy the new printer and I bought cutting mats. So I'm going to put that I budgeted zero, but at the end of the month, I will have to add up how much I spent on equipment. So the printer will go here, the cutting mats will go here, um, all of that kind of stuff. Then I want to add uh, digital art, and that's the digital art that I use. And what else did I spend on digital art, ink, the printer, the mats, the mailers, and then the bills. So that's pretty much the only categories I have so much so far for January. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. So we were originally working on a loss of $358.32 according to the bills and how much I estimated I would take in. I have already taken in almost $400. So I'm okay. I still have half of the month left where I can make up some of the money, especially with having to have, uh, having to buy that printer. So hopefully I'll be able to make it. Um, and then let's go here, the monthly. So Patreon, I did check off. It came in 
or came out, I should say. We paid it. Adobe was paid. Pipsticks was paid. And so on this payday from Etsy, I received 84 88 on this payday was 310.72. Make sure you can see that. And then that is pretty much it. I'm not going to list all of my expenses on the monthly because that would get a little cluttered. So I think that's pretty much it. So this is my first time doing an actual like business budget video. So this is very new to me. Um, I've always kept track of things, obviously not as detailed as this, um, but it's my first time doing a video. So I feel like I need to do, I feel like there would probably need to be another breakdown just to see if every week I am over budget, under budget, that kind of thing. So that might be something I will incorporate for February, but for now, this is where we are at. So I'm happy. I mean, of course, some unexpected uh, expenses, but that is the case with running a business, right? That's why we leave money in our business account for expenses. The printer was something I wasn't hoping to spend on this month. I was trying to save up for a new printer, and I am still trying to save up for a new laser printer as well. However, that may have to wait a little longer since I had to buy this one this month. So that is essentially it for my business budget check-in. It's a very short video and I'm sorry if it's a little all over the place. Um, but like I said, I am still trying to find my footing in terms of getting all of this organized on paper to show all of you. But I hope this was helpful for any of you that do run a small business to see kind of how it goes. I may not be showing you detailed expenses like this in the future, just so you know, I don't give you all of my secrets, but that's essentially everything I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thanks everyone. Bye.